Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Sam. I am here with a little treat after being gone for a couple months, um, but it is a budget with me during the month of May 2022. And today we're going to be using something new. Uh, in my previous videos, I was using an Erin Condren planner, but in this video, I actually have an iPad. I believe it's in a regular iPad generation eight is, is, is what I want to say it is. Um, so we're just going to deep, deep dive right into it. Um, this is for the entire month of May. I get paid on the first of every month. Um, so I pay and plan out all of my bills, um, for the entire month of May. Uh, and let's go ahead and get into it. I apologize for the glare in advance, but I'm hoping that it will go away or if it isn't as bright as it is right now. If not, we'll have to find a new setup for next month. Uh, but this is the budget sheet that I use on the app GoodNotes. I made this sheet myself, um, but it's pretty simple to make. I made this one on Google Slides. So I just manipulated the different boxes, the different fonts, things like that. So I'll zoom into each category and then I'll show you mine for me. So at the top, like I said, I only get paid once a month and I already know how much that is. So I'll just put that into the income box. Then comes the fixed expenses, which are things, you know, bills that come up every month that usually don't change in, um, in price. So I can just put them there. I put the amount and I also have a paid category. So once that is paid out, then I can go ahead and mark it. I do keep most of my bills in a checkings account and I take out different categories such as, for example, cash envelopes. And you guys will see what I use there. So after I take out all my bills, I go to cash envelopes. And this is for my four categories, which is groceries, personal, dining, and household. Uh, household being things like medicine, toiletries, cleaning supplies, different things like that. Once I have finished with that, I go to my bigger savings challenges um, and you guys will see what that is. And then lastly, whatever is left over, I go to my sinking funds, which if you don't know what sinking funds are, it's kind of like mini savings um, savings that you do every month and they just kind of add up. Um, so for example, in the month of December, if you have holidays coming up, you need a couple months to plan ahead of time, right? So what I do is I set a goal every year for how much I would like by holidays season and I divide that up into 12 different months so every month I can put aside money for the holidays um, and then I do a zero-based um, budget system so you'll see that my income is going to total um, zero by the end after we've subtracted each of the four major categories um, so now I'm going to fill in all my categories and be right back so that we can go over numbers so here are all of my categories in case you all want to screenshot it. I'll leave it on the screen for a little bit. Um, but just a little bit about me. So I am a salaried employee. I work in higher education and um, I live at home with my parents. So you'll see that my rent is not a lot at all. Um, besides that, I own a couple dogs that I'm in charge of. I am in a long-term relationship. So you'll see a date's category somewhere why isn't there a dates category there we go anniversary all right so let's go ahead and get started so i think that's all about me if you all have any questions just let me know um i live in the state of nevada in case you guys want to get a a hold of what part of the country i am in um so we're going to go ahead and start i'm going to zoom in a little just to make handwriting a little bit easier. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start. Uh, this is just an Apple Pencil Generation 1. Works really great. Um, so I'm going to start with putting my total income, which after taxes and benefits and all that good stuff, it is 2596 For rent, I'm going to go ahead and put $400. For my cell phone and my car insurance, I actually do those together. It's going to be three thirty. For gas, I do one seventy five. So that's my budget. Um, I usually do not go over one seventy five, but with the gas prices rising, I really don't hope I get over one seventy five. Uh, then next we have monthly deposit. So this is 
$25 every month is taking is taken from my checkings to my savings to pretty much make sure that my savings is um, without any fees and things like that. Then we go on to Wi-Fi, so that's $30. Subscriptions is $25. For subscriptions, I have, what do I have? I have Spotify Premium for a family, and I have Disney Plus on the monthly basis, although I heard it's cheaper to buy it annually, so I might be looking into that shortly. Then I have my gym membership, which is $25, and this gets me... Um, unlimited access for one month and I can also bring a guest anytime that I want so honestly it's a great deal then I have a giving category for $30 so this is um, you know mutual aid funds GoFundMes um, donations different things like that uh, then I have a car wash subscription which is unlimited car washes for $20 Mother's Day is coming up so I wanted to set aside $50 just to kind of start um, a little fun because I do have a separate gifts fund and then this month is also my three-year anniversary with my boyfriend so I'm gonna go ahead and put a hundred dollars just towards any expenses there and I already did the math just to save you all some trouble so it's gonna be one thousand two hundred and ten dollars so if we subtract this number up here from all of my bills and fixed expenses we are going to end with 1386. So now we're gonna go through cash envelopes and I will be stuffing my cash envelopes um, in my next video. So keep an eye out for that in case you are a, um, a person who budgets with cash. Um, so for groceries, I'm gonna do 170. Again, I just worry about my own groceries. Then we have dining out for also 170 household for $40 again that's like uh, quick makeup products pretty much anything at like a pharmacy that I can grab any medicine maybe some masks that I need to purchase things like that uh, and then personal which is pretty much anything that I want to spend it on is going to be $120 and all of these numbers it's honestly months in in kind of the works of seeing what numbers work for me. I think I've been using these numbers for the past two or three months, so honestly, it's a great um, great number for me. Every person's gonna be different, but this is what I like to keep um, in cash. So that's an even 500, and if we subtract 1386 from 500, we get 886. And then we have our savings challenges. So I do like to keep some savings in cash um, and some savings in the bank. So these are kind of all over the place, but we'll start with the 1K challenge. And right now I'm not sure exactly what I'm saving up for. It might be travel, but you'll see that in another category too. Then we have student loans. Um, so it's kind of saving to start paying those off. So this isn't what I'm gonna owe every month is far less than what I'm gonna owe every month, um, but I just wanna get in the swing of things before the pause is um, not lifted again in October. So we, we will see about that. Besides that, I have an emergency fund that I bulk up every year, um, and every year my goal is $1,000. I believe last year I finished with $2,000 even, so this is my third year doing this, um, emergency fund and every month I put in $83 which times 12 is a little bit over a thousand dollars I believe and then we have the $500 challenge and this was actually for my birthday which is in the month of June so it's coming up very very shortly and as I'm closing up my April budget I am I do have quite a bit of money left over so whatever that amount is the rollover is what's going to go into that category um, and if you add up these three numbers, that is 245. And I'm actually going to, oh, okay. So yeah, the leftover is 461. When we subtract eight, ooh, 886 by 245, then we end up with 641. I thought I was gonna have to do some math, but I already had it ready. So these are sinking funds, like I mentioned, every month I just put in 
Uh, not a large amount, but it just slowly, slowly bulks up. Some of these I do keep in cash and some of these I keep in my savings account, the ones that I use just less frequently, such as car maintenance, medical, technology, Christmas. Those are all categories that I don't touch on a weekly basis. Um, the ones towards the beginning are more regular. So for beauty, I'm going to go ahead and put 100 and this is sort of a lot just because um, I want to get my nails done once or twice this month and that adds up. Then we have dogs. So like I mentioned, I have two dogs that I am financially responsible for and every month I put away 108. They are getting both groomed next month so that's already going to be more than that. Um, but I have a little bit of money left over from this month so we should be fine. Then I have clothes for 30. I don't plan on buying new clothes, but the money is there. And of course, if I don't use this $30 this month, it's going to roll over to next month. Uh, and then I have makeup brushes. This is like a temporary sinking fund that I have going on. I just want to start slowly saving up so that one day I can buy new makeup brushes, maybe a new set. I've just had mine for like five or six years and I think it's time for a change. Then I have um, family and that is going to be the cash that I that I keep for my family. So things like picking up ice, picking up pizza, um, just like random tidbits here and there that come with living at home and that comes with um, having lots of nieces and nephews. Um, then we have hair. So I do go to a curly hair specialist who does a diva cut and I get highlights and that already just sounds expensive. So every month I put aside $50 for a visit to the hairdresser. Next is car tags. So car tags means yearly registration. I believe I'm due in August and I have quite a bit of money in here so I actually lowered it this month. I think I'll be fine. And then we have car maintenance. That can always be expensive so I'm going to go ahead and put 25 as I do every month. Then we have gifts. I'm going to put 30 in for gifts. Uh, it's graduation season so that's going to be certainly used up. Then I have medical right now i'm actually in the process of buying some new glasses which again is a bulky expense but i already have some money in there so this month i'm just adding 40. then we have technology so i purchased this ipad a couple of months ago maybe in the month of january um so this is just for any other technology pieces that i want perhaps like accessories, a new phone case, an Apple watch, things like that. I don't put too much, just $20 is enough that helps me. Then I have travel. I do like to be gritty about this one. I'm going to get $50. Uh, and then like I mentioned earlier, I do save for Christmas every month and that's going to be $83. Again, this totals to over $1,000 after 12 months. And then I actually have a family sinking fund that stays in my savings envelope and it was actually just depleted because we took family pictures and it was a lot of money um so i'm starting this up this has zero right now but i'm going to go ahead and give it 30 dollars and all of these categories are going to add up to 641 so 641 minus 641 is going to be zero so this is my zero based budget plan for the month um so i'll give you guys a quick second in case anybody um wants to screenshot it i'll also show you all what other pages i have in my budget journal again i just made this for myself but i do have a place for weekly check-ins so these are the five categories that i like to keep track of on a weekly basis and i have week one two three and four of every month and then I also have a sinking funds transaction log. So for example, if I'm pulling from car maintenance, if I'm pulling from gifts, technology, things that are in my savings account, I like to tally it all up and at the end of the month, make sure it balances out with what I have actually spent. And then if I need to make notes to myself, for example, I can say this month, you know, some of the things that I have going on is Mother's Day, my partner's birthday, our anniversary. Next month, which would be the month of June, would be something more like my birthday coming up, um, some vacation days, different things like that. So, and then it continues on with, again, a blank budget sheet. Um, if you're interested in this, just let me know in the comments. If you have any questions, also let me know in the comments. I'm hoping to be 
more um, regular <laughs> with an upload basis. Uh, so please let me know what you thought of today's video. I think I talked a little fast, but that's okay. Uh, besides that, I hope you have a great day. Go get your budget on. Go and plan for the month of May because it is coming up soon. All right. Thank you all and have a great day.